Hi, I'm Ranger Tim, and I work for the City of Cambridge here at Fresh Pond Reservation. Fresh Pond is the City of Cambridge's largest open green space, and it is also our city's active drinking water supply. As an active drinking water supply, Fresh Pond Reservation falls under the purview of the Cambridge Water Department. Today, I'm going to help you take a look into the Cambridge Water Department to see how many disciplines of science we use here to bring tap water to our many residents. Tap water may seem like a simple subject, but before it comes out of your tap, it experiences biology, chemistry, engineering, environmental science, and technology. Let's start at the beginning of the water's journey. In the water business, before water is filtered and treated for human consumption, it is known as raw water. Fresh Pond Reservoir is the city's raw water supply. To protect against pollution from the surrounding roads and businesses, Fresh Pond Reservation is a feat of environmental engineering and landscape architecture. Environmental engineers and landscape architects carefully design our man-made meadows to be a living filter for our raw water. We then can gauge the health of this living protection land through the study of forestry, botany, wildlife biology, and ecology. Ecology is the study of ecosystems and their interconnected nature. The best way to ensure the water's safety is by maintaining a native and thriving ecosystem around the reservoir. Meadow plants stop and drink up runoff water that can contain pollutants and the pollinators keep the meadow's reproductive cycle going each and every season. Ecology in Action There are several divisions that work together in the Cambridge Water Department, and our reservoir system is operated by the Watershed Division. The water that feeds Fresh Pond Reservoir originates as rainfall in our upper watershed. This watershed land spans Lincoln, Lexington, Weston, and Waltham. Through the science of watershed, the rainfall forms small streams that converge into larger brooks and rivers. The watershed division routinely takes samples and conducts tests on these many streams and at our dam structures. Tests conducted by our watershed scientists require a strong background in environmental science. Out in the watershed, the water department utilizes skills of geology, microbiology, hydrology, and climatology to gather good data about our raw water before it makes it to Fresh Pond. Tests include checking dissolved oxygen, sodium levels, bacterial and algal content, turbidity, conductivity, changes in temperature and elevation, rate of flow, historic rainfall records, and environmental compliance with nearby businesses and construction sites. Our watershed scientists create this data to help our other divisions better handle the next steps. The watershed division also maintains and operates a series of dams, valves, and aqueducts at the two outer reservoirs that act as Fresh Pond's collection basin. They are known as the Hobbs Brook and Stony Brook Reservoir. Standing on the edge of Fresh Pond is the Walter J. Sullivan Water Treatment Plant. This is the home of our water department employees and where 10 to 14 million gallons of raw water pulled directly from Fresh Pond Reservoir is filtered and treated every single day of the year to create clean and healthy tap water across the city of Cambridge. Now that we've explored the science of water outdoors, I'm here in the belly of the beast of the Cambridge Waterworks to explore the scientific journey this water takes from Fresh Pond to your tap. Immediately when the water leaves Fresh Pond, it enters the building into our pump gallery. These pumps act as the heart of the building, pumping the raw water to its first of many steps to becoming finished tap water. If the pump gallery is the building's heart, then the building's brain can be found in our operator's room. From the operator's room, our treatment plan operators manage each step through an information technology system known as the SCADA system. 
An operator is always on duty 24-7 at the Cambridge Water Department because monitoring every step of the process is important work. Not only do the operators need to monitor the system, they also need to regularly conduct tests by hand to make sure that the machinery is properly calibrated. This means that the operators need to go to every corner of the treatment plant to test and maintain machinery and to take quality samples along the way. Our water treatment and filtration plant is large enough to process the millions of gallons sent its way each day from the pumps. It takes years of education to be a water treatment plant operator because there are so many parts to become familiar with. From the pumps, the raw water is rapidly mixed. Alum flakes are introduced and flocculation occurs, which is when the fine materials clump together. The clumps of fine organic materials from outside are skimmed out on an air flotation basin. Looking clear and free of large particles that could have been introduced from fresh pond, the water cascades to the next step, ozone disinfection. Ozone is made from our ozone generators, and the ozone bubbles kill microscopic things like bacteria and viruses. Now that large particles and living organisms are out of the water, the next step is the filter beds. Advanced filter beds are now able to strip the finest materials and microparticles from the water. After it slowly makes its way through the multi-layered filters, the water is then treated for distribution before going to our finished water storage at Payson Park in Belmont. This is the Water Operations Division, and there is another group of STEM field workers in this division as well, working hard for the science of drinking water. Each step of the way from beginning to end at the treatment plant, the water is tested for its chemical nature to ensure we meet all drinking water regulations by our chemists in the laboratory. Around the clock, routine tests provide us data for consumers and to better run this operation. The water department building has several unique laboratories inside of it, each with a different specialty to test water samples. Depending on the information received by our watershed scientists and operators, the chemists in the laboratory are able to adjust formulas to maintain the same water quality in differing conditions. Working as a lead chemist usually requires a graduate degree in a STEM field. This laboratory is also where we conduct free lead tests for all of our Cambridge residents. Simply pick up a lead testing kit at the building's lobby, follow the instructions, and return the samples so that they can be tested side by side with the water leaving the building for differences. Before this finished tap water makes it to your faucet, there is one more division in the Cambridge Water Department that uses science every single day, the Engineering and Distribution Division. The Engineering and Distribution Division is responsible for the design, maintenance, and implementation of the city's 190 miles of transmission and distribution mains that range in size from 4 to 63 inches across. Our city engineers utilize their skills and education in civil engineering to best design how the water will flow from our storage tank right to your kitchen and bathroom. With more than 1,700 fire hydrants and 4,400 valves, our distribution crew is always hard at work, ensuring that there are no changes in quality from when the water leaves our door to when it arrives at yours. Engineering is the application of science and math to solve problems, wherever that may take you. It takes a flexible mind and sometimes a willingness to get your hands dirty in order to be a civil engineer. This is all in the name of drinking water, and from the distribution system, the water makes it to you. Before tap water makes it to your faucet, you can rest assured that environmental science, information technology, chemistry, and engineering were put to good use to make sure it's of the highest quality. Thanks for coming along with me through this journey of water to see how many different types of science the Cambridge Water Department uses every day to bring you tap water. If there's anything I want you to remember, it's that tap water is good for your body, your wallet, and for your planet.